downtown Vancouver, Rogers Arena, where the Canucks open a four-game homestand with their second meeting of the season against the Nashville Predators. Starting goalies brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of the NHL. Pekka Rennie's making progress, but he's still out with a serious hip infection. Car Carter Hutton in goal, and it's Roberto Luongo for the Canucks, who's been excellent in two games back. Hutton's on a roll. He's won three in a row, and Luongo ranks top ten in the NHL in both save percentage and goals against average. Well, Hutton's the, uh, the Nashville Predators play in Calgary tomorrow, so you wonder what they're going to do. You wonder if Hutton's going to play every game. Devin Dubnik's the backup, and Gary Trotz was not really pleased with his Nashville debut. Jason Garrison after a pocket center. Deflects off a Nashville stick into the Vancouver zone, but now it's out to center. Daniel Sedin trying to advance the puck. Checked by Craig Smith. Gets it through to Kessler on the second attempt. And Ryan Kessler wheels and dumps the puck to the far corner. Back is Roman Yossi with a pass to Shea Weber. Tipping the puck forward. Edler tried to hold it in, but here comes Leguan. Covering for Edler is Daniel Sedin as Leguan moves down the right wing with a backhander. Luongo a stick save, and he'll gather the puck for a whistle. 41 seconds into the opening period. It's hard as a goaltender to get traded mid-season because you're so used to your defense and uh, the Predators were on the road and Devin Dubnik joined the team and you get used to playing with an Edmonton team that is really loose defensively and then you go to a very Trotz coach team that is so tight defensively and you're still chasing the puck and Dubnik's got some work to do to readjust his game to suit the Predators game. Here's Mike Fisher after the puck in the Vancouver zone. Squirts free to Chris Tannen, who passes to the far side for Yannick Hansen. Hansen ahead for Chris Higgins. Icing waved off as he moves in on young Seth Jones, and the puck is tipped free for the newest Predator, Michael Delzato, in his first shift as a member of the Nashville team after being traded from the Rangers for Kevin Klein. Cutting out of his net, slides the puck to the corner. Jones up the middle to Fisher. Tried to feed on to the left wing for Delzano, who was joining the rush. That was knocked away neatly by Brad Richardson. And now the puck played forward, brought in by Higgins on the left wing with a wrist shot. Kicked out, rebound. Richardson had his stick tied up by Delzano and couldn't get a shot away. So a good defensive play there from the newest Predator as Higgins moves into the drop pass for Richardson. He gets to the corner, centers, that hit the side of the net. As Richardson was trying to find Zach Cassian on the other side, and now Hutton grabs the puck for a stoppage. Well, that wasn't a great rebound. Hutton leaves this one, the shot by Chris Higgins. That should be an easy save. The rebound's right there, and Delzato does a nice job tying up Brad Richardson's stick. Zach Dumpy out for this faceoff, flanked by Cassian and Booth. Ryan Ellis, who spoke with Murph prior to the game, comes up with a puck, sends it ahead. It's off the X's stick and into the Vancouver zone. And here's Ryan Stanton in his first shift back after missing 15 games with an ankle injury. Stanton going back for a loose puck. Luongo out to settle it for him. Nystrom shadowing Stanton as he sends around for Cassian. Pass to Dolphy and now Cassian to BX who's got room on the left wing. BX wide on the backhand. One hands the puck in front. It's loose. And now chipped wide as BX from a sharp angle. Couldn't put it on goal. Cassian knocked down in a battle with Victor Bartley. But the puck stays in the Nashville zone. Bartley sends it around for Ellis. It's out of his reach and through to Matt Cullen. Cullen just dumps the puck to an open wing. Edler takes possession. Lane's open for the pass. Cullen Lane trying to take it off his skate now from the left wing. He tries a shot. A stick saved by Hutton. Had the pass come a bit earlier and been on the mark. Lane could have had a breakaway. Rich Kloon the other way. Tips the puck into Vancouver territory. Edler goes back and hands it around for Jason Garrison. Garrison switching over to play the right side as he's done quite a bit this year with Edler. With Weber coming out of the lineup for Vancouver. Replaced by Ryan Stanton. Chris Tanev, a mainstay on the Vancouver defense, passes to Dan Hanhus, who sends the puck forward. Weiss is in, but puck got caught up in the skates of Lane, and it's taken away by Victor Stahlberg. No score, three minutes in. Canucks with three early shots to just one for the Predators, and that was the easy save for Luongo on the leg one backhand. The makeshift top line for the Canucks back out. Ryan Kessler between Daniel Sedin and Alex Burroughs. The second straight night where we can refer to 22 as Sedin and nothing more if we choose as Henrik misses his second straight game. Here's a centering pass. Smith checked by Sedin before he could get a shot away. And here come the Canucks over the Nashville line. Sedin cutting in front. Chris shot. Kicked out. Rebound. Kessler couldn't get his stick on it as he was being checked by Nick Spallin. Weber the other way. Flips the puck into the Vancouver zone. Leguan moves in on the exit. 
Chops the puck to the near side. Weber was retreating, and that allows Alex Burroughs to intercept and hoist the puck to center. Gloved down by Kessler, but right under the stick of Craig Smith. Daniel Sedin makes a nice move to get down the right wing. Looking for help, tries a wrist shot. That missed the net. Puck ricochets to the left point and out as Hansen couldn't hold it on side. Four minutes into the first, no score. A lot of continuous action as Ellis goes back for a loose puck. Ryan Ellis was the third defenseman in OHL history to get more than 300 points. The first two, Jenny Cockman and Rick Colbert. Here's Mike Fisher with a quick shift and a centering pass. It's off the stick of Hansen. Ellis working to hold the puck into the right point. Poke passed in by Higgins. Ellis recovers to tie up Chris Higgins and now blocks the dump in by Hansen, who's able to send the puck behind the net on his second try. Hutton out of the net. In trouble. Hansen centers. Dolphy took a swing at the puck, but it was knocked away before it got to him. Now here's Edler at the left point with a long wrist shot that was blocked by Hornquist. Ellis trying to get the puck ahead. Does, and Hornquist carries out the center. Patrick Hornquist in on the right wing. Blocker saved Luongo on that long wrist shot. Puck stays in the Vancouver zone, but now taken by Garrison, who slides it across to Alex Edler. Five minutes into the first. The man I'm working with, who's not allowed to speak so far, is John yeah. Garrett. That's right. Jump you, in any time. You got your radio call going. Dan Hamhuis with the puck. Tanev takes his pass and returns it to Hamhuis, who drives the puck into the Nashville zone. Canucks have won 16 of the last 23 against the Predators in the regular season. 20 of 29 if you count their playoff series. The six-game win back in 2011. Nice trip. Flipped the puck in. Bork was offside, but he tags up. Gabriel Bork appeared to be shaken up in warm-up in a collision with a teammate, Hornquist. Seems to be all right as this game is underway, and Booth tips the puck into the Nashville zone. Bork pressured by Richardson. Now the X are working to hold the puck in. And he does. Richardson in for Booth. Under pressure from Seth Jones. Booth shielding the puck. Goes down. And David Booth slow to get up. Seems to be laboring a bit. He's going right to the bench. We'll monitor his situation as Vieksa passes up to Tom Sestito. Sestito tips the puck in deep. Reese throws a hit on Jones. Lane working to hold the puck in. But Paul Gostad chips it down to the Vancouver Blue Line. The Exa looks up ice for the pass to Tom Sestito. And Lane offside. Now we're going to have a fight. Weiss has dropped the gloves with Rich Clune. Right in front of the Nashville bench. And off comes the helmet of Dale Weiss. Rich Clune is just throwing as many as he possibly can. Got Weiss a little off balance. And down they go. Weiss wants more, it looks like. Gets back up. And inside left lands from Clune. Now Dale Reese has got the right hand free. Ooh, Ooh. took the uppercut. Spirited scrap. And that'll be it. A lot of continuous action and then a little bit of feeling. The Canucks and the Predators scoreless live on Sportsnet. Welcome back to Vancouver. Don't forget to play Safeway's million dollar score and win. If any Vancouver player scores five goals in tonight's going. Tonight's game, Tony Pooley of Vancouver could win $1 million. Sharp and swipe at Safeway. You could be our next lucky winner. Seth Jones is 6'4", weighs 210 now as he's starting to fill out. And he takes down David Booth, who was very slow to get up. Now, Rich Clune and, and Dale Weiss over on the side. They're just about to make a line change on the offside. At that was almost like a tight dolmy. Rich Clune is 5'10", but weighs 2'10". And Dale weighs 6'2", and he weighs 2'10". Here's Ryan Kessler with a shot through traffic. Hutton makes the save with Daniel Sedin right in front. And the whistle blows on a somewhat tough stop when you consider the traffic in front. And there's Dale Weiss talking to Rich Clune now. And uh, Clune was a healthy scratch eight straight games and back in the lineup. Here's a shot by Kessler and Hutton with the save and no rebound. He's had some juicy rebounds on the first three or four shots, but able to control that one. And Clute has uh, played eight of the last 10, but before that, he sat out eight straight. Daniel Sedin with a shot right off the draw that missed the net. 
Weber advances the puck, bounces it through towards the cup, and along those steers to the side, Garrison clears up the boards, held in by Shea Weber. Spalling from behind the net. Pass was blocked, but he gets the puck back and leaves in the corner for David Leguan. Blue line feed, Yossi, other side, Weber with a drive, and along with the right pad on it, then he stops Smith with a sharp finger on the side of the net. Daniel Sedin tips the puck out, Weber controls its center. And he whistles it out of anchor the zone, hard around to the near side. Garrison quickly ahead to Daniel Sedin at the end of his shift, he'll dump the puck into the Nashville zone. Kessler stays out for the moment, here's Tanev holding the puck in. Kessler tries to get it behind the net for Hansen. Delzato had a chance to intercept. Now he's got a hold of Hansen's hockey stick. Daniel City working to keep the puck alive for Vancouver, but Delzato comes up with it for Nashville. Pass blocked by Hansen, and Daniel Sedin gets the puck in the corner. Sedin behind for Hansen. Kessler goes to the front. Hansen skates to the corner. Feeds back to Hanhuis. Tan at the right point. Pressured by Hornfist. Daniel Sedin heading to the bench as Hutton shoots the puck around and gets it out to center where Chris Higgins takes control. Now the Canucks complete their full change. Dolphy's on to replace Kessler. Just past the eight-minute mark, scoreless first period, and Hanhuis has room to skate in against his old team with a wrist shot. Hutton the save, and he covers for the whistle. Murph. Well, guys, now it's time to live the game with windows. One of the newsmakers Sunday, of course, Richard Sherman, post-game rant after that win over the 49ers. Some people liked it. Some people called him a thug. And he said, thug, what about that hockey game recently that they didn't even play hockey in? Of course, Sherman is a fan of the Vancouver Canucks. He's been up to a, a couple of games, and that game he was alluding to was Vancouver Calgary. Yes. Live the game with windows, John. I know you had no problem with it, being the Seahawk fan that you are. Yeah. Kind of turn a blind eye to that. <laughs> Richard Sherman can do no wrong in my eyes. Mike Sullivan can do no wrong as the head coach of the Canucks. He's 1-0 and as he brings his team into this one. And there's Daryl Williams behind the bench again. Very studious looking. Daryl Williams talking to Jamie Hendricks. Darrell, normally the eye in the sky for the Canucks, but he'll be on the bench for the half dozen games that John Tortorella's being mandated to miss. Here's Ryan Stanton. David Booth trying to pick up that puck. Back out there after being shaken up, his last turn on the ice. Matt Cullen controls, flips the puck past Booth, and here's Borkin on the left wing. Behind the net for Nystrom. Nystrom tried to cycle the puck, but Bieksa was right there for Vancouver. Tried to get it ahead for Booth, that was blocked by Bork, so Bieksa opts to reverse to Stanton, but he can't get the puck out. Cullen swings it in front, and that deflects to the corner. Nine minutes into the first, no score, and Booth picks up the puck and gets it out. Driven back in by Victor Bartley. Both teams changing as Bieksa goes back to collect the puck. Double shift here for Chris Higgins in the absence of Dale Weeks as he skates on the line with Lane and Sestito for Vancouver. Alex Edler has the puck ahead to Kellen Lane. Tried twice to knock the bouncing puck into the zone, failed to do so. And here comes Gostad the other way with a wrist shot. Stick save long. Stahlberg after the puck. Hornquist getting the double shift for Nashville with Clune in the penalty box. And the Canucks take possession of the puck in their zone, but Edler throwing it forward, deflected through by Chris Higgins, and both teams will start to change. Here's Daniel Sedin off the bench and onto the puck. Makes a move to the right side, cutting it on goal. Daniel to the crease, rebound! Kessler couldn't jam it home. And Craig Smith winds up with the puck in the corner. Smith taken down by Kessler, play goes on. Burroughs steals the puck, back to Hanhuis. Slap shot blocked by Spalling. And the puck deflects free to Michael Delzato. He gets it ahead to center, tipped on by Spalling. Legron drops for Spalling, he's got Smith in front, there's the pass, and a backhander well off the target. Legron from the corner, centering feed, knocked away by Tannen. And Smith took a swing at the puck, but missed. Tips the puck to the end boards, Burroughs beats in on Weber and gives him a buck. Legron winds up the puck, flips it to Spalling, and he relays to Yossi. Roman Yossi over the bank of the line. Down the left side, still with the puck, into the corner. Centering pass goes off leg one and somehow stayed out of the net. 
Might have gone off his skate. Now Weber at the blue line. Long slap shot. A hard one. Luongo knocked it down with the glove. And then he covered the puck for the whistle. Weber's had a couple of looks in this game. And the Canucks will probably want to play him a little tighter and not let him get that shot off. Well, there is Kellen Lane who got to play a little bit on Tuesday night. Third career shift. Scores on his first career shot. Who was the last Canuck to do it? Well, it happened right in this building against these Predators. January 6, 2011. Lee Sweat, the overtime winner. Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> yes, I remember that. We called that game, John. That was an exciting moment for the other Sweat. There's Kellen Link. Saw the puck in his stall this morning. Icing call up coming as Higgins played that one in from his own side of center. So now what's up next for Kellen Lane? When you think about the fight and the goal, I mean, he's got a laundry list of things to hey, check yes, off. Yes, that, that's true. Uh, doesn't that surprise you, the two seconds? Somewhere in the NHL, as soon as the puck dropped, somebody never dropped him, and the timekeeper stopped it at one second. Guess not. Guess not. I mean, first, I'm sure first, it's happened, but yeah. I mean, the first, your first game. Your first you know game, I mean? I mean, top guy come in. In your first game, you want to make an impression. Of course, you were Usually probably, probably not start. starting yeah. the game. Face-off win for Mike Fisher. Ellis puts it onto the side for Colin Wilson, who spins to get away from Zach Dolphy. Now tries to center hand. He's got in front of that. And he makes a good crisp pass ahead to Chris Higgins. Higgins oh! banks the puck into Nashville territory. Bartley goes back. And delays before passing up the middle, and the puck is relayed by Fisher to Ellis. Ryan Ellis down the right wing, still with the puck, puts it in front, and Wilson just missed. Critters have had some chances right in front of the goal. Canucks with the earlier chances, and Nashville's had a few in the last couple of shifts. Here's Bartlett. Now the puck going ahead. Cullen deflects it into the Vancouver zone. Luongo sends it the other way for David Booth, who's pressured by Matt Cullen. Eight minutes remaining in the first, no score. The X in a battle for the puck with Maestro. Trying to make his bid for the Ballon d'Or as the X tried to kick the puck around the end boards. That was blocked. Now Booth controls. Can't decide which way to go with the puck, and it stays in the Vancouver zone. Bork in the slot. Wrist shot blocked by Stanton. Who then had his stick lifted by Nystrom, and the Predators steal the puck back, put it in front, and just tipped wide by Bork. Now another chance. Nystrom is stopped by Luongo on the doorstep. Canucks running around a bit in their own zone. Now Booth, who had the earlier chance to clear, gets the puck out. Richardson is hurt. Brad Richardson heading to the Vancouver bench. As Cassin works up ice, there's a penalty coming up to Nashville, probably for the play on Richardson. As the Canucks control with the extra skater on the ice, here's Edler fighting the puck a bit. Deflects back to Cassian. And Cassian checks. That'll draw the whistle. And as Richardson checks for damage at the bench, the Predators will take the first penalty that results in a power play in the hockey game. Well, the referee's coming over to check for damage, too. Referee Chris Rooney is looking at Brad Richardson. And there's the high stick. And it's not a follow-through. I, I think that's what... Uh, Nashville is trying to say it was a follow through. Well, it was well after the shot. And it's a double minor to Matt Cullen. You could see the follow through had already happened, and then he came up with the gloves and the stick. So, an opportunity here for the Canucks, who were two for their last 26. And went 0 for 4 in their last game in Edmonton. Burrows, double team that works the puck to Kessler. And he's going to the net. Kessler passes in for Sadiq, who sends the puck back to Garrison. Left point, Hughes. Burrows is in front. Puck put in front. Tip wide by Daniel Sadiq. Kessler has it on the right wing. Into the corner for Burrows. They Down low, Burrows looking in front. And the pass was out of the reach of Hughes, who looked like he recoiled with the stick a little bit. Now Daniel Sedin to Burroughs. Kessler one time and a blocker saved by Hutton. Canucks throwing the puck around nicely. Sedin on the right wing. 
Takes a return pass from Burroughs. Here's Garrison at the blue line to Daniel Sedin. Side of the net, Burroughs attacking centers, and again, Hughes couldn't pull the trigger. Canucks setting up decent looks. Minute gone in the two in the uh, double minor. Hand who's a third attempt, and again he fluttered one wide. Fans buzzing a bit. Here's Daniel Sedin. Garrison slap shot. Look out! That hit a stick and had everybody ducking for cover. Kessler gets it again. To Daniel Sedin. Garrison takes his pass. Daniel Sedin top of the circle to the goal line. Burrows with a centering pass. And that one was out of the reach of Hand Hughes. He gets the puck to Garrison. Daniel Sedin one timer. And that was blocked. Great pressure. Just the finish that's lacking for the Vancouver power play. Here's Burroughs. This unit's been out there for a minute and 40 seconds. Puck hasn't left the zone. Daniel Sedin. And Hanhuis again on a bouncing puck. Couldn't find the net. That one was a tough shot. Garrison over to hold the puck into the right point. Here's Burroughs. Daniel. Hanhuis. And again. What can you say? Just not making good contact. Daniel with a shot stopped by Hutton. And the whistle blows with the double minor more than half over. And Dan Hanius is going to the bench feeling the frustration of having so many chances. There's Ryan Kessler. That's a good save by Hutton. But Dan Hanius had to have three good chances. That misses the net. Off the... You can see he doesn't get his feet turned, and it's off the end of his stick. Dan must have had three good scoring chances on that first part of this power play. Power play continues. Cassian with a shot attempt. Puck comes right back to him. The exit behind the net for Higgins. Cassian from the corner. In for Higgins again, and back for Zach Cassian to the blue line. Here's Alex Edler. The exit the other point, Nick. Pass comes to Cassian. Weak pass, but he got it through to Edler. Wrist shot, hoping for a deflection, and the exit couldn't make contact. Now the puck shoveled in front, taken out by Dolphy. Back to Edler. He shoots. Blocked by Bartley, and he felt that. Victor Bartley's going to stay out, but he's checking his left knee a little bit as Edler's being pressured by Mike Fisher. Zach Dolphy. Ahead to Chris Higgins. Minute 10 to go in the four-minute power play. The Exa pokes the puck in front, clear to the corner by Jones. Dolphy up the boards for Higgins. Pass to Flex to Cassian. Cassian back to Edler. Near side, the Exa. One-timer stopped by Hutton, can't cover. Puck still loose, dug free by Fisher and sent down the ice. 40 seconds to go in the four-minute power play for Vancouver. And here comes Hanhuis out with the puck. Drops for Daniel City. Goes wide on Bork and carries over the Nashville line. Cuts the middle. Puck knocked away. Kessler gets it to Garrison. And down for Kessler again. Behind the net for Sedin. Cut off by Yossi. But he's pressured by Burroughs. Yossi keeps after the puck. Burroughs battling while down on the ice. Comes to Kessler in the corner. Now to Burroughs. Tried to leave for Kessler. Bartley played it back in. Garrison moves down for the line. Burroughs controls back to Hanhuis. Dan Hanhuis to Jason Garrison. Moves to the middle. Passes down to Hanhuis. Bobbled the puck. Now gets it back and works it to Daniel Sedin. Power plays over, but the Canucks still control. Here's a chance for Kessler. Back to Garrison. Slap shot. Off his skate into the corner. Hanhuis puts one through the crease. Burroughs couldn't knock it down. Kessler feeds behind the goal for Daniel Sedin. Burroughs is in front. Pass to Kessler. Couldn't knock it out of the air as he was driven to the ice. And there'll be another penalty for cross-check as Paul Gostad sent Kessler flying. And the Canucks 0 for 2 on the power play. Get another opportunity when we come back in this scoreless game. Pizza Hut wants to send you and a friend to a Canucks game with their Eat Pizza Win Tickets contest. Every week from now to March, one lucky fan will win a pair of Canucks tickets. Go to PizzaHut.ca or call 310-1010 to order and you're automatically entered to win. Pizza Hut, the official pizza of the Vancouver Canucks. Power play looks good. Had some chances. Ryan Kessler fans. Paul Godestad with the cross check. Knocks Kessler down. And right away the Canucks back on the power play. This time they go hand use Bieksa as the point pairing with the man advantage playing the offside and hand use at the right point 
tough pass for Kessler to handle. The puck is clear. Top of the penalty, 1704. Third power play for the Canucks with the failure on the four minute one. They're now two for their last 28. As Daniel Sedin moves it. Puck comes back to him. A little fortunate for Daniel. And we'll see overhandle it moving into the zone. Now the Predators tee it up for Fisher in the corner. He bobbled the puck and can't clear it past Ryan Kessler. Burroughs back to Bieksa. Other side, Daniel Sedin. Burroughs going towards the net as Daniel controls on the right wing. Passes to Burroughs across for Bieksa, stopped by Hutton. As Bieksa had to settle the puck before getting a good shot away, and that gave Hutton the time to come across. Daniel trying to feed the high slot for Kessel. That's off a Predator stick and out to center. Power play half done. Under two minutes to go in the first, no score. Canucks with four shots in their power play time so far. 13 in the period for seven for Nashville. And the Predators clear the puck right down on Luongo. Well, and how many have they missed on this power play? I could try to tally, but I'll see yes, it was a no, rhetorical yes, question. Yes, it was a rhetorical question. Humorous. The excess pass hit Cassian in the skate. Puck comes through to Higgins eventually. And now Cassian trying to force it in deep, but Jones passes over to Bartley, and he risks the puck down into the Vancouver zone. 20 seconds to go on the power play. A little over a minute remaining in the first period. And here's Higgins in. Puck knocked away from him, right to Cassie, who makes a nice move, sends it across, carries him with a blast, and hit a leg, then deflected in front. But onto the puck is Clune, and he's able to dump it down into the Vancouver zone. Last minute of play. Here's Cassie. Pass picked off by Leglon, but he gives the puck away to Edler. Penalty's over. Canucks now 0 for 3 on the power puck. And just the one B extra shot on the last one. Here's Leglon in. Late chance for the Predators. Falling, bobbled the puck on the left wing. But he gets it again, sends it right point. Here's Weber out to greet him. His boot puck sent in front. Spalling can tip it on goal. Garrison clears past leg one. And David Booth brings the puck forward, tipping it to the corner. Twenty seconds to go in the first period. Puck held into the blue line. But now rolled out by Nashville. Here's Richardson at center. Passing back to Ryan Stanton. Despite the three power plays and the edge and shots, looks like the Canucks aren't going to garner anything out of this opening frame as the Predators in Vancouver scoreless through 20 minutes at Rogers Arena in the first of a four-game homestand. This period. Brought to you by the redesigned 2014 Toyota Tundra. Tough enough for any project. Pretty good energy, pretty good pace to the first period of play, but no offense to speak of from either side. We're going to hear from Alex Burrows in our first intermission. He'll be chatting with Joey Kenward, and the panel is back. Dan Murphy joined by Alex Ald and Ian McIntyre. Canucks nothing, the Predators nothing. We're back with more after this. to Vancouver second period about to be getting underway at Rogers Arena no score in the first let's take a look at some of the numbers Canucks let in shots tied in hits look at the power play 0 for 3 and they were better in the face off dot as well guys Predators control this face off as we get underway in period number two and the puck quickly out of play for a whistle nine seconds in Ryan Kessler a big part of that face off in the first period he was six for six and Shea Weber played ten shifts Six of them head to head with Ryan Kessler. Uh, Barry Trotz is trying to match up Weber against Kessler in this one with Noel Henrik Sedin. Although Weber out there now with the Canucks starting the period with the line of Dalby between Higgins and Hanson. Antler advances the puck towards Chris Higgins and Weber out of midair puts it into the Vancouver bench. Kevin Lane grabs that puck. 
Nashville's a very good face-off team, and you look at their centers, uh, Legwand and Fisher and Gostad. So uh, the Canucks are doing a real good job in that first period. Here's Roman Yossi for Nashville, and that'll be an icing call as he missed everybody with that lead pass. And after all that continuous action in the first period, we have three whistles in the first 28 seconds of the second. Don't you think it was interesting, Barry Trotz talking about Shea Weber and how this year has been his best season ever? And he's taken more responsibility. And, uh, he, the Olympics coming up, and he wanted to show everybody that he could be one of the leaders on the Canadian Olympic team. Colin Wilson jumps onto that loose puck. Moves in on the left wing. Now tries the center for Weber. It deflects to Alex Burrows, who de delays before sending the puck forward, but it bounces past Daniel Sedin. Hornquist towards Luongo, who steers the puck to the corner. Burrows intercepts. A hit for Daniel Sedin, who throws one hard to the other side. Onto the puck is Dan Hanhuse. He flips one the other way. It's off Daniel's skate right to Ryan Kessler, trying to settle the puck. Now gets it towards the left point. Here's Ryan Stanton. In for Daniel Sedin. The exit. Quick shot attempt. Now it's centered for Kessler. He couldn't jam it home off the setup from Burroughs. Puck dug out and cleared by Hornquist. That had opportunity written all over it as Burroughs found Kessler in front. Stays scoreless as Stanton sends one ahead. Blocked by Jones right in front of the Vancouver bench. Leguan brings the puck back towards the Vancouver zone. On to the left wing, Delzato. Puck squirts in front, taken by the other number 18, Ryan Stanton, who headmans to Brad Richardson. Lead pass to Zach Kessler. And he reverses to the near side, but offside was David Booth on his left, and the whistle blows. Kevin Bieksa jumps up into this play, too, as he and Kessler and Burroughs are there trying to dig that one out from Carter Hutton, who made a good save in tight. Fourth line shift for the Canucks out against Cullen, Bork, and Nystrom. Shooting attempt to flex right to Eric Nystrom. Onto the far side, Cullen on the back. He dumps one wide of the goal. Puck comes to the left point to Delzato. He puts one in front, cleared away by Edmund. And right back out to center ice. Gabriel Bork falls down on pivoting, and here comes Tom Sestito, leaving for Weiss. Sestito chases in after that puck. Delzato took a healthy run towards him. Garrison holds the puck in. Now Cullen hit hard by Sestito, but able to clear the puck to center where Nystrom picks it up. Nystrom turns and delivers the puck in behind the Canuck goal. Luongo gets it to Alexander and ahead to Dale Weiss. Weiss plays chip and charge, moving in on Ryan Ellis, who clears for the line, held in by Dalton, who dumps the puck in behind the Nashville goal. Two and a half minutes into the second, no score. Bartley sends one down into the back of his own. Luongo tips that free to hand. Hooks it ahead, Bartley waiting for the puck. Long shot is off, is sticking off the end glass. Paul Gostick for Rich Clune. Clune being pressured by Chris Tannen. Now the puck sent to the blue line by Nystrom, but it goes right, pardon me, by Stahlberg, and it goes between the point men and down the ice. Three minutes into the second, and a steal by Yannick Hansen. Centering pass, Dolpe, check. Here's Hansen, shoots, blocked. Dolphy couldn't get the shot off. Hansen did, but it hit Ryan Ellis on the way through. Now Hamhuis is going to get an interference penalty as he stepped in front of Stalvin. And Dan Hamhuis will head to the penalty box, the first power play of the game for Nashville. Well, Dan Hamhuis doesn't go back in a straight line. He goes to his right, and he interferes with Stalbert. So the Canucks, the first three power plays of the game, all in the opening period, couldn't score. That began with a four-minute high sticking penalty to Matt Cullen. And now it's Nashville's turn as the ex-Predator sits in the box. Richardson to take the face off against Fisher. Predators win control. Here's Weber. Leg one on the right side. Side of the goal for Hornquist. Puck comes around to Yossi. Pass blocked by Burroughs. Now Burroughs, chance to steal the puck, couldn't do it. Weber has it at the right point. Leguan takes his pass. Fisher tips it back to Yossi. Slap shot. Luongo 
stopped it, couldn't cover it, but Bianchi is able to send the puck off the side glass and down the ice. Legwand at center, drops for Roman Yossi. Predators, the only team in the NHL that has not surrendered a shorthanded goal. The exit goes back for that shooter. Gets the puck to Tammy. Remain an extra move and was checked by numerous Predators. The exit a chance to move the puck, but closing the gap quickly was Hornquist. He gets it back to Yossi. Here's Weber, wristing one on goal, tipped wide by Hornquist. The X after to lose puck, couldn't make contact. But now it gets by Hornquist. Tanev tips it forward for Higgins, who can't chop it out past Weber. Higgins intercepts, another chance to clear, and this time he makes no mistake. The Exa hustles to the bench along with Higgins. Tanev forced to stay out, but now he'll hit off as the Predators take the puck deep into their own zone. 40 seconds to go on the penalty to Dan Hanhuis. No score nearing the five minute mark of the second. Seth Jones dumps the puck in behind. Garrison intercepts, fans on his clearing attempt. Spalling check, Hanson's after the puck, gets it ahead, and here's Richardson. In on the right wing, cuts to the middle. Richardson still with the puck, and he sweeps it wide of the goal. 20 seconds to go on the Nashville power play, and the puck is still deep in the Predators' end. Jones sends one ahead to Ellis, and he drives the puck into the Vancouver territory. And Luke trying to get the puck around. That was blocked by Craig Smith. Here's Matt Cullen as Hanhu steps back up. Predators 0 for 1 on the power play. Hanhu's pressuring the point. Daniel Sedin trying to move up. Couldn't get the puck outside the line. And here's Nick Spallin. Getting one in front. Smith turns and fires wide of the goal. Jones. That one was blocked by Daniel Sedin. Tried to get one ahead for Kessler. That hit linesman Brad Lazarowicz. And that forced the play offside. Kessler arguing with the linesman, but he's not going to win that one. Well, CHL Friday Night Hockey is coming up tomorrow at 4 on Sportsnet. Peterborough, Oshawa. Our James Sam and all the action. Yes. Guess who is an old Peterborough Pete? The old alma mater. Am I sitting going next into, to him? Yes, going into Oshawa. We used to have the great games against Oshawa. Bob Kelly and Rick McLeish always fight. Big ear to ear grin on your face. Yeah, you know, yeah. Is that the Roger yeah. Nielsen days? That's the Roger Nielsen days. A great rivalry. Just down the road, Boston City to Peterborough. The Exa holds the puck in the Nashville zone. Now it's cleared out. Hit Zach Dolphy. Came right to Rich Clune, who slides the puck in behind the Canuck net. We're six minutes into the second. No score. Dolphy checked at center by Stalberg. Now passes across. Stanton tips the puck forward and skates onto it. Throws one to the other side. Boom. Couldn't reach that puck. Now he works to hold it in the zone, but it's cleared out by Paul Gostad and shot in by Kloon. Luongo slows the puck. Stanton goes back. Around for the exit. Ahead to Zach Cassie. Cassian, five points in his last seven games. Nice pass ahead. Dopey with a shot. Walker save. Rebound on the backhand. He put it over top of the net. Cassian almost had another point there on the setup to Dolpy, but now the puck's back out to center, and Smith flips it into the Vancouver zone. Luongo clears that one to the corner. Smith able to force the puck to the other side. Burrows is back. Tanev takes the puck and just unloads it to center. Deflects to Daniel Sedin, who carries it on the right wing. Daniel trying to leave for Kessler, who now gets the puck and slides it across. That deflected outside the line and back into the Vancouver end. Game needs goal, John. Yes, it does. Burroughs trying to move it. That didn't work. Pucks back out to center on the stick of Dan Hanhuis. Here's Garrison. Room to move through neutral ice. Up to Daniel Sedin. Back to Garrison. Backhander. Deflected wide of the goal. Kessler gets the puck. Sends it towards the net. Now hit the side of the goal. Burroughs tied up and knocked down by Fisher. But Daniel Sedin pokes the puck free. Hornquist gets it, he clears it out, and Garrison's being pursued here by Colin Wilson. Garrison, high percentage play to get the puck to the corner. Predators get it there, throw it in front, but now it's up to center. Hanson battling Delzato, and able to advance the puck over the Predators line, and now force it further in. Kessler from the corner had the puck bounce past him. Seth Jones takes control. Kessler with the beaver tail, Jones not biting, and here comes Wilson over the Vancouver line. 
He's checked. Bieksa trying to get the puck out. And it's brought out by the Canucks. Here comes Kevin Bieksa fighting off a check in on the right wing. Cutting towards the middle. And the loose puck taken away by Hornquist. We're back to continuous action, but not a whole heck of a lot happening, i got to say. Bit of a chess match here. Or one of those scrabble games where nobody wants to give up the triple word score. And it's all in the middle. Yeah, it can't see. Down for Chris Higgins. You wonder if the kids even know what Scrabble is. <laughs> Can you play it on the Xbox? Sure you could. <laughs> Ten and a hit for Higgins. Up to Dale Weiss. And he moves in after his own tip in. Bartley. Hit him in the corner. Puck comes to Brad Richardson. Sends one on goal. That deflects to the other side. Here's Chris Tanner. Dropping. Weiss towards the net. Tipped in. Chris Higgins. A beautiful deflection up under the bar. And Higgins makes it 1 nothing. We talked about the fourth line guys before the game. What a play that was by Dale Weiss. He spotted Chris Higgins. It wasn't a shot. It was just a good hard pass. And there he's getting congratulated by Chris Higgins. Look at it. Dale Weiss takes a look, sees Chris Higgins. And that wasn't a shot. That was a good pass by uh, Dale Weiss. Stops it, shoots it. And Chris Higgins on the back end tips it by Carter Hutt. Higgins from Weiss and Tanev at 9.09. And his 13th makes it 1 0 Canucks. Canucks just got a triple word score. Clune in. Shot blocked. Battle for the puck in the corner. There's Rick Clune. Comes up with the puck and sends it to the other side. Jones down to the right point. Hitler had him lined up. Puck winds up on the stick of Kellen Lane. And the Canucks get the puck out. Here comes Tom Sestito. Drops for Alexander. Wrist shot block. Puck goes high in the air. Falls at the feet of Dale Weiss, but knocked away by the Predators and brought out by Kloon, who steps around the exit. Rich Kloon in. Soft pass ahead, hoping Stahlberg could get to it. Now Stahlberg from the corner. Leaves the puck. Deep in the Vancouver zone. The X is back to pick it up. There'll be a penalty here to Leguan as he took down Bieksa moving from behind the Vancouver net. So the Canucks have a goal and now they get their fourth power play after Chris Higgins opened the scoring. Well, get your tickets now to the Heritage Classic game to be held at PC Place March 2nd. Canucks taking on the Senators. You can be a part of Vancouver hockey history. Go to Ticketmaster.ca slash NHL or call 1-855-985-5000. David Legwan trailing, kept the exit left hand on the one hip, stick around the other side, uh, created a scoring chance. Chris Rooney right there to make the call. Fourth power play for the Canucks, and they control off the draw. Garrison to Daniel City. Here's Burroughs to Dan Hamhuis, back to Garrison, but the pass was in too tight. Now Daniel with the one timer rebound, Kessler jamming away, Hutton's got the puck. Hamhuis' pass to Garrison was just off the mark as the Canucks defenseman wanted to lean into a one-timer. Canucks on the power play, brought to you as always by Subway Restaurant. Center for your chance to win the Subway Road Trip of a Lifetime at roadtripofalifetime.nuxnation.com. Carter Hutton does a nice job getting into position on the shot by Daniel Sedin. There's the pass that Garrison didn't line up properly, but another rebound. Whoa, short hop on Luongo. You always cringe. Yes. Kessler to Daniel Sedin. He's in on the right wing. Sedin, bank pass. Garrison with a blast. And Hutton saw it all the way. Came out to challenge, made the save, and the whistle blows with a minute 28 to go on the Vancouver power play. And no rebound. And I'm sure Jason Garrison would have liked a little more screen on that one. Nice play by Ryan Kessler to set up Garrison, but there's absolutely nobody. Kessler tried to tip it from the side, and Hutton able to make the save. First unit stays out. Canucks up to 19 shots in the game. Nashville's had 10. Predators control, and Jones was able to clear the puck all the way down. As you were saying? Yeah. 
Matthew Greenish. Remember the Montreal shorthanded goal this year. <laughs> that one credited to Lars Eller. But didn't really explain what happened if you just look at the score shot. Here's Daniel Sedin. Burrows. And Hughes. Garrison. Blocked by Spalling, and you got to have some guts to do that. Canucks have 45 seconds left in their power plays. Kessler moves in. Fighting the puck a bit. Daniel Sedin follows up. Checked by Fisher. Goes down. Able to get it back to Garrison. To Daniel Sedin. Pass across. And Hughes in front. And the puck got by both Kessler and Burroughs. Daniel spins coming off the right wing boards, but the Predators, partly able to send it off the glass and down the ice. Under 20 seconds to go in the leg one penalty. Han has been out there a while. A little tired as he'll head to the bench with Bieksa bringing the puck out. Eight seconds to go in the power play. Higgins, the goal scorer, moves it. And that pass right to Gostek, who comes back for Nashville. Penalty's over. Canucks are 0 for 4 in the power play. Gostad leaves for Cullen. Leg one out of the box. Goes to the front of the net hoping for a pass. Now he'll peel off to the bench as the exit digs the puck free. And pokes it ahead to Dalpy. Quick to Cassian. Canucks 3 on 2 if they hurry. Dalpy moves in. Center pass. Cassian top of the puck. Bieksa forced it just wide as he went hard to the crease. Higgins. Fires back. Edler with a wrist shot attempt. And that deflects to the near corner. Richardson hustling after the puck, stolen by Higgins. In front for Cassian, knocked down before he can make a play. And out with the puck is Shea Weber. He finds Stahlberg and moves down the left wing board. Stahlberg, wrist shot, stick save Luongo. Cullen gets the puck and dumps it behind the net. Victor Stahlberg. Pressured by Edler, now checked by Richardson, who gets the puck behind the net. Quick turn to get away from Bork. Works the puck to Higgins, who's immediately checked. Smith tried to get one on goal. Here comes Delzato down for the left point. Luongo reaching up as Bieksa went down. And Roberto Luongo able to snare that puck. More routine play there than the one earlier when the Canucks were on the power play. And Luongo had some trouble. Looking for an unforgettable way to host business clients, reward staff, or hold a birthday party or special event? Vancouver Canucks single game suites available now in a range of sizes and prices to suit any occasion. Take in the game of the privacy and comfort of a Canucks luxury suite. To learn more or to reserve one, visit Canucks.com slash single game suites. The birthday party. This is the Will Shorthouse birthday party being held in a suite coming uh, up soon. It, it has been. It, it has been. And yes, you're, you're right. There are multiple birthdays. Yes. We're a busy family in the first months of the year. Thank you for remembering. Matriarch Anne shares the same birthday as Gary Suitcase Smith. Well. Will's into double digits now, isn't he? Yeah. Rapidly closing in on you. <laughs> yes. Here's Yannick Hansen flipping one right onto the stick of Chris Higgins. Predators send that one back out. Dolphy with a neat play to poke the puck to Yannick Hansen. Wrist shot, easy save for Hutton. In the classic John Garrett stand up style. Here's Murr. Guys, we can quickly tell you the Safeway's featured participating product for tonight's game is Purex Laundry Detergent. Sharon Garrett loves to wash, gets that washing machine going. Runs it on cold, the same <laughs> yes, environment, just, I'm sure. Just to keep it going every other day. David Booth had an eye for the puck off that drop. And here's Richardson from the corner. Pass in behind the net. Puck is loose. Booth trying to go after it. Pitch fork to the ice by leg one. Here's Richardson. Pass in to the corner. Weber's on him. Pass in despite losing his helmet. Came out with the puck but then lost it. And Craig Smith slides in the center for Roman Yossi. Pass in stays out without the helmet. As the puck comes free to David Booth. And he dumps it out to center ice. Gets by Victor Burton. Now unloads the puck back into the Vancouver zone. Uh, 
Hoop still out there, ties up the man to free up the puck for Ryan Stanzik. Ahead to Zach Cassian. He exits the trailer. He moves down the boards. Now Cassian still with the puck. Finds Brad Richardson. Cassian towards the net, hoping for a tip from Booth. Who gets the puck in the right wing, finds Cassian, trying to slide one through. Oh, nice move by Cassian. Now he shoots it just wide. See the confidence growing. In the offensive game of Zach Cassian, he's now on the back check and tying up Cullen to free up the puck. And it's sent ahead to Tom Sestito. Sestito to Lane. He shoots, and that was blocked. Weiss gets the puck at center. Helping him out is Tanner. And now Weiss pokes it ahead for Kellen Lane, who's back into the Nashville zone. Another wrist shot, and reaching out for the glove is Carter Hutton. He'll take the whistle as the players mill about a little bit. Canucks up to 22 shots, and they have the game's only goal. Well, there's David Booth. We know he's a hunter, and some are uh, not happy with some of the Twitter picks he sent out. But here's something to make you smile. He just hosted Hunting for Humanity, a wild game community dinner for the less fortunate and homeless. They fed about 1,200 people. Uh, foods were duck chili, moose hot dogs, venison stew, and some ducks that were provided by Booth himself. Giving back? Yes. We wanted to show this because... Our esteemed producer, Greg Shannon, of course, is from Terrace. Yes, yes. And we got to play that Hockeyville game, remember that? I do remember that. The place went crazy when you emerged from the tarmac. <laughs> uh, the Premier was with us that flight. The former Premier. <laughs> Mr. Campbell. Here's Chris Tannen. He was a long way from the NHL when that game was played against the Islanders in Terrace, but he's a mainstay on the Canuck defense now. Centering pass, knocked away by Hamhuse. Good defensive play there, and the puck is out to center Daniel Sedin, who flips it over the Nashville blue line. Daniel gets the puck on the right wing. Pass it to referee. Puck comes to Burroughs, behind the net to Kessler, working on Weber. Kessler tried to turn and center, gets the puck again. Weber staying right on as Kessler passes to Daniel Sedin. He's checked by Yus. Burroughs moves to take the puck away from the Nashville defensive. Banked ahead to Spalling, and he'll turn and backhand it out. Four minutes to go in the second as Kessler passes to Hamhuis, and he's got some room at center. End of his shift, he'll shoot the puck in and head to the bench. Jones works his way out of the corner. Touch pass ahead to Leguan. Back in front, out of the reach of Stahlberg. He gets the puck behind the net. The X is on him. Leguan digs it free. Fans on his first pass. Now gets it through. Jones quickly to Elzato. Risha tipped. And Luongo, the left pad save off Stahlberg. Stahlberg from the corner. And the puck is outside the line. Delzato has to chase back for it. Canuck goal came on a deflection. Higgins able to get it up under the bar past Hutton. And Stahlberg had a good bid there on the redirect that was foiled by Luongo. Now Stahlberg with a long shooting. And Luongo grabs that puck for the whistle. Good play by Michael Delzato to shoot this one in for Victor Stahlberg. And Roberto Luongo makes his best save of the game. Dip in, try it. As you say, the left pad over. About 18 inches off the ice. And Roberto follows it all the way and able to make the save. Read the, he read the play very well there. Wasn't cheating. Face off to his right. Kessler against Fisher. Passing little hook. And play goes on. Delayed offside here as Garrison passes to Alex Edler. Cassian up the middle and now cuts to the left wing. Skating well as he works his way to the end boards. Angled off by Wilson. Richardson gets the puck back to Garrison. Here's Cassian, turning, sliding one in front. Chance for Booth, then. Didn't get much on the shot. Hutton covering the bottom of the net, able to make the save. Hornquist dumps the puck in. And is able to poke it past Garrison to Fisher. Centering pass to Wilson, who got the loose puck eventually onto his stick and chopped it up over the net. Here's Yossi. Hartley on the left wing. Trying to wrist one in front. That winds up on the stick of Alex Edwards. He's got two players ahead of him, and here they come. Casting the booth, casting in on goal. Gets him deep. 
Now behind the net, still with the puck. Zach Cassian passed back for Tanev, but that was off the stick of Bork and down into the Vancouver zone. Promising rush, but didn't result in an opportunity on goal. Now we dumps the puck back in. Hutton couldn't leave it. Being checked by Weber, centers for Lane, that's knocked away, held in by Hanhus. Weiss couldn't reach the puck, Lane goes after him on the near side with two minutes to go in the second period. Yossi tries the other side, and here's Sestito with a shot attempt, and that was blocked. Sestito gets the puck again. Good fourth line shift here for the Canucks, Lane knocks his man down, Weiss winds up with the puck and shovels it to Tom Sestito. Working off the right wing. Fires back, left point, that's off hand use. He's able to sprawl and prevent the odd man rush. But now the puck is played down inside the Vancouver Blue Line. Both teams changing in the neutral zone. As Delzano tips the puck ahead, shot forward by Bork. Here's Smith moving in, centers the puck. Dostad sliding with Stamp to make the defensive play. First game back for Ryan Stanton. His timing looked pretty good there. We're spalling. As we move into the final minute of the second period, Gostad, who just had that opportunity, knocked away from him. Tried to center. That hit the side of the goal. He gets the puck again. Puts it in front. Spalling couldn't quite reach the pass. Here's Yossi from the blue line. Weber on the other side. Back to Roman Yossi. Looking in front. Smith with a one-time attempt off the heel of his stick. Late pressure from the Predators with 40 seconds to go in the second period trying to tie the game. Spalling. Smith got that one time and off and the long way to stick save. Weber holds the puck in. Gostad centers and it deflects through the crease and out the other side. 25 seconds to go in the period and the Canucks under pressure here. Daniel Sedin's broken his stick and now the puck winds up in the Vancouver bench. Whistle blows with 19 seconds to go in the period. Ryan Stanton's back in the lineup after missing 15, reads the play so well, comes back and dives. And you can see Alex Burroughs is late coming back on Gostad, so that pass has to go through him even if the guy can make the pass. And instead, Stanton was able to pick off the puck. Face off in the Vancouver zone, and won by Richardson. Yossi holds the puck in. Predators will try to set up a late chance. Ten seconds to go in the period. Han Hughes in a battle with Wilson. Pass comes back towards Mike Fisher. Down the boards again for Wilson in the corner. Now thrown in front, but that'll do it for the second period of play. Chris Higgins gets the only goal. Roberto Luongo has stopped 15 Predators shots, and it was a Higgins tip of a Dale Weiss shot that got in past Carter Hutton. So the Canucks with the lead heading to the third. Our second intermission will feature our latest NHL trade tracker, Michael Neubert, and the panel reconvenes Murphy, Ald, and McIntyre. one nothing Canucks through two. Except for third period puck drop in Vancouver. Scoring summary the second period is brought to you by Panago Pizza before, during, or after the game. Get a fresh Panago. Chris Higgins, your only goal scorer, came from Weiss and Tanev. Canucks out shooting the Predators 23 15 after two periods. John Garrett's fresh tape being considered for a Gemini Award, and it's brought to you by <laughs> Subway Restaurants. Enter for your chance to win the Subway Road Trip of a Lifetime at roadtripofalifetime.nuxnation.com. As well, it should. Ryan Stanton back in the lineup. Look at the poise. Nice little pass. It's easy to break out when it's tape to tape. Read the play. Take the man out defensively. Find the puck. Good pass. Easy to break out of your own zone. Tape to tape again, Zach Cassian. And read the play and make the diving defensive play. Ryan Stanton has had a great game in his first game back after missing 15. Underway, third period. At least I thought we were going to be underway, but they'll do the face-off again with the Canucks leading one to nothing. And will they put the clock back to 20 minutes? I think they will. Or they'll start it late, no. They'll just start it with two seconds elapsed. And away we go with Burroughs dumping the puck into the Nashville zone. 
Carter Hutton has stopped 22 of 23, beaten by the Higgins goal. Canucks hold the puck in. Daniel Sedin centers out of the reach of Kessler, and out with the puck is Craig Smith. Gets to center on the right wing and plays one hard around to the far side, cut off by Garrison, who reverses for Daniel Sedin. Couldn't get by Weber, who twice blocked clearing attempts along the boards. Battle for the puck along the boards. Burroughs able to tap the puck ahead to Ryan Kessler. They crisscross at center. Kessler in on the right side. Sharp angle wrist shot. Blockered by Hutton all the way out to center. And Dan Hanghuse takes control there. Puck back into the Nashville zone. Hutton leaves for Weber. Pressured by Hanson. Gets the puck off the glass and up. Hornquist turns with it. Dishes it ahead for Wilson to skate after. Colin Wilson, sharp angle shot. Luongo got his right shoulder on that one as he leaned against the near side post. And now Hanhuis passes nicely up to Hanson. In with Dalpy. Hanson, long shot. Stick saved by Hutton. Delzato taps the puck around. Hanhuis moves down from the left point. Behind the net for Dalpy. Kicks the puck to the near side. Goes after there. Nice pass to Hanson in front for Higgins. Drops back to Tanya. Slap shot. Gloved by Hutton. And he hangs on for the whistle. Higgins setting up that opportunity. He scored the game's only goal in the second and it produced a winner on scoring win for Safeway and Purex Laundry Detergent. From Surrey, Jody Trailing, you've won the Troy Built Single Stage Snow Thrower with Electric Start. It was a nice goal by Chris Higgins and Dale Weiss. Dale Weiss just shoots it at Chris Higgins. Angle the stick. Look at that angle by Chris Higgins. Make sure he got it up and over the goal pit. Ryan Stanton holds the puck in the Nashville zone. Cassium. Making moves along the boards, feeds in behind the net. Hutton stumbled a bit as he came out, and he's able to play it around. And the puck is thrown forward by Bork. Cassian covering for the exit, who was caught. Here's Delzano, centering, and Leguan missed the puck, with Luongo sprawling, moving to his left. No shot on goal. Back come the Canucks, two on one. Richardson with Booth. Richardson cutting in front, drag move, and a shot attempt wound up underneath Michael Delzano. Chances at both ends that didn't produce a shot on goal. With 2.20 gone in the third. It's a long pass ahead for Nystrom, broken up by Edler. And Kellen Lane dumps the puck the other way. Dale Weiss in behind the net. Ellis tries to clear. Weiss blocked that. Now Garrison trying to hold the puck in. It's past him and onto the stick of Eric Nystrom. Nystrom plays chip and chase on Edler. Who angles him away from the puck, but Nystrom able to come up with it. Working to the corner to Rich Clune. Bloon in behind for Nystrom, Cullen's there as well. After the puck at the side of the net, Canucks send it ahead to Wheat, uh, Sestito, pardon me, who skates through center. End of his shift, he rifles the puck in off the glass and heads to the bench. Three minutes elapsed in the third. As Ellis dumps one forward, Hand Hughes taps that the other way. Coming onto the puck is Spalling, cutting to the middle. Couldn't get a shot away. And now the Vancouver net dislodged as Gostad and Burroughs were in a battle at the side. Murph. John, shop and uh, swipe your club card at Safeway today. Watch future sports net telecasts, and you could win a week of unlimited luxury at Dreams Resorts and Spas, courtesy of redtag.ca. Alex Burroughs was pleading his case. He wanted the faceoff to come outside. He thought Paul Gostad was the guy that took the post off. And he was. And he won. And he originally pointed at the faceoff dot just to the right of Roberto Luongo. Puck played into the bank of his own. The exit goes back. Under pressure from Gostet. Spalling tries to center. Puck comes back to him. Now he throws one in front. Smith scores! Craig Smith, a one-timer off the setup from Nick Spalling, and the game's tied at one. Uh, Kevin Bieksa got spun around in the corner. And the puck's given away, and by the time they, he recovers, you can see Kevin's looking up to watch on the Jumbotron. Here's Kevin now. He, he gets spun around, and he can't clear it. Uh, Paul Gostad's a big guy. He handles Kevin. And now by the time Kevin gets back, it's too late. Up and over the shoulder of Roberto Luongo. No chance on this one-timer. That's Craig Smith's 16th of the year at 3.28 of the third period. And back to square here. With the Predators. 
scoring on their second shot of the period. And here's Hanson as the Canucks aim for the good shift after a goal. Dolphina Hanson slap shot, a rising one. Hutton able to snare the puck and get the whistle. Canucks TV presents All In with Jason Garrison. Join Barry McDonald for an in-depth interview with the White Rock native and Canucks defenseman Jason Garrison this Sunday, 4 o'clock, Sportsnet Pacific. game like this, just a little mistake, a hesitation by Kevin Bx instead of just firing it around, gets turned around and ends up in your own net. Predators just nine road wins in this in their first 24 tries, but in good position in this one, anybody's game is Stahlberg moves in. Pass to Jones, back to Victor Stahlberg, long shot wide of the goal. Booth hustles after the puck, takes the stick of Del Delzato. But the puck stays in the man for his own. Jones with a long shot. That didn't get through as Bork was trying to tip it. And Richardson on the backhand able to clear to center. Up, 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 up. Seth Jones skates back into his own zone and passes across to Michael Delzato. Delzato starts up ice. Pass up the right wing. Cullen moves in on the right wing. That wrist shot blocked by Edler. Cullen gets the puck again. Centers. Intended for Nystrom, but the puck ricochets down into the Nashville zone. Visit Romana.ca for the best rates and special offers. Predators three on two, make it four on two, moving in. Cullen with a pass off the mark for Nystrom. Ellis had joined that rush, and now a chance in front. Luongo had to be sharp to stop Nystrom on the doorstep. Luongo's lost his goal stick. It's laying loose behind the net as the battle for the puck continues. Bieksa comes out with it. And Kevin Bieksa just unloads the puck to center. John Tortorella not behind the bench. Second straight game. He's talked about his team's struggles with trying to regain and reship momentum within games. And that's what the Canucks need to do right now is the Predators got the tying goal and have had a couple of opportunities since, including a four-on-two that didn't produce a shot. Here's Roman Yossi. Cuts wide on Kessler and risks the puck in. Luongo does well to cut that one. Can't clear past Smith in the corner. The Nashville goal scorer. Now the puck thrown back to Shea Weber. Weber with a long shot, hoping for a deflection from Spalling. Now Burroughs takes the body. Kessler takes the puck and finds Daniel Sedin. Sedin over the Nashville blue line. And the puck knocked away from him by Nick Spalling. Weber plays it ahead to Smith, who returns the puck to the Nashville captain. Just past the six-minute mark of the third. 1-1 one, one tie. Higgins breaks up that rush. But now onto the puck is Mike Fisher with the room on the right side. Wrist shot. Blocker save Luongo. Yannick Hansen missed the puck. And Delphi couldn't move it out. Hanus fell down in a collision with his teammate. He's lost his stick, but he takes the body. And that allows Delphi to headman the puck to Chris Higgins. On the left side, here's Hansen. Drop pass. Higgins. Trying to slide one through, then he fell down, and Jones starts back the other way. Four Predators again. Jones in on the right wing. Tried to pass in front, and that was blocked by Alex Edler, who gets the puck around for Higgins. Higgins to Dolphy. He's got room moving in. Dolphy shoots. Stopped by Hutton. And the rebound taken away by Mike Fisher, who clears the puck up the boards and out. Both teams changing in the neutral zone as Edler skates to center. Bounces one in. Hutton had to be careful with that. He'll take the whistle. We'll take a break. Nashville's tied the game. We're seven minutes into the third, and it's 1-1 at Rogers Arena. The 2014 class of the BC Hockey Hall of Fame was announced today in Vancouver. It's one headlined by Kirk McLean, also 1975 first-round pick Pat Price, BC Hockey Development Coordinator Bill Enos. Uh, former Canucks Niner uh, Kurt McLean, of course, was here today to talk. Also with Shea Weber, as he was part of that 0304 Kelowna Rockets club that won the Memorial Cup in Kelowna, John. Not bad team. Duncan Keith, part of that. Blake Colmo, part of that team. Did you know Pat Price and I played uh, in Quebec together? Brief time. Teammates. Yeah. yeah. Now you've learned something. I'll have some of what they're having. <laughs> Could that Kona Rockets team have possibly stood up to the Peter Rivera Peets of the 1960s? 
Parking in the middle. Oh, the bench. Montreal Junior Canadiens is the one that won the Memorial Cup with John Garrity and that. Now that. That would have been yeah, a match. That was one of those. That was one of those stacked teams, wasn't it? Didn't they make a bunch of trades late? No, no, no. no. They were they were good back to back champs. John Garrett faced a lot of uh, shots. Not a whole lot. Uh, the one series we played the Quebec Ramparts and Guy Lafleur was on that Quebec Ramparts team, and we had Gilbert Perro on our Junior Canadian team. Stacked. <laughs> 1-1, Canucks and the Predators. Vancouver looking for a third straight lead in the opener of a four-game homestand, which won't resume until Monday when the Canucks play yet another back-to-back -back series on home ice. Ryan Ellis sends one across. Tanev knocked it right to Dostad. The puck stays in the Vancouver zone. Dan Hughes hooks it around, held in by Ellis. Chance for Tanev to get to that loose puck, but he hesitated a bit. Thought Cassian was going to go to it, I believe. tied up along the boards. Now they'll try the other side. Booth and Ellis. Puck in front. Spalling couldn't get a shot away. David Booth has it. But we have a penalty coming up. A hooking call. And it's going to be against Vancouver. So the Predators who've tied the game are going to go to the power Vancouver play. Vancouver penalty number 15, two minutes hooking. That was just good pressure by Ryan Ellis, pinching in on David Booth, who couldn't chip it by him. And there's the hook. Get the stick right in on Nick Spalling. Well, it's UFC on Sportsnet. Saturday, 2 in the afternoon. Sportsnet 360, we should tell you. Henderson Thompson. The headline. Power play at 8.01 of the third. And Nashville, an opportunity to take its first lead of the hockey game. Predators control. Here's Fisher. Back to Weber. Lots of room and a slap shot blocked by Kessler. Puck caroms off him out to center. Kessler stays out as the Predators regroup at their own blue line. Mike Fisher. Extra move. Hornquist was offside. Now Weber steps in onside. Puts the puck to the other side of the ice and it's chopped right back out by Kevin Bieksa. David Leghorn tried to take on two Canucks that didn't work Hand Hughes and Burroughs working in tandem to get that one all the way down power play Half over as Fisher wheels through center. Poke check, puck held in. Yossi, slap shot blocked. Tanev down in a heap as Higgins clears the puck and Chris Tanev struggles to the bench, favoring his left leg or foot. Mike Bernstein over to greet him. As Tanev tries to shake it off, the Predators control deep in their own zone. Chris Tanev is going to go right to the room. So the Canucks down to five defensemen for the moment. As the Predators move back in, 30 seconds to go in their power play. Spalling. Ellis, one timer, along longer the save. Edler trying to clear the rebound. Spalling came in looking for it. Edler gets to the puck and he drives it past Ellis and down the ice. A dozen seconds to go in the penalty to Brad Richardson. Ellis had to take that one off his skate. He drops back to Seth Jones and moves in. Jones backhands the puck behind the goal. Hand is there for Vancouver. Smith takes the puck free, makes an extra move, loses the puck to Richardson, who's out of the box, and here comes Hansen down the right wing. Wrist shot wide. And that one's going to come all the way over to Cullen, who takes control of his own blue line and fires nicely ahead to Craig Smith. Smith works his way to the side. There's going to be another penalty here. I think the Burroughs for hooking. Delayed call. Canucks trying to get the puck. As Hutton goes to the bench for the extra skater. Six attackers for Nashville. A delayed call against Vancouver. Here's Yossi at the left point. Passing to Shea Weber. And puck knocked away from him by Burroughs. With 9.19 to go in the third, Alex Burroughs heads to the penalty box. A hooking call. And the Predators are going right back to the power play. 
The Canucks continue their homestand when they face the Coyotes this Sunday at 5 and the Oilers Monday at 7. Don't miss these two games as the Canucks look to gain ground in the Pacific Division. Limited tickets still available for both matchups. Visit Canucks.com slash tickets to buy yours today. Well, here's a good sight for the Canucks. That visit to the dressing room, maybe just more of a chance to walk it off in the tunnel for Chris Tanev, who's right back out on the penalty kill. Burroughs off for hooking. And the Predators... Right back to the power play, their third opportunity in the game, a 1-1 tie. There's Tanev right up the middle of Richardson, who tips the puck out. Another big face-off win for Brad Richardson. Now 6-4 and four on the night. Here's Roman Yossi carrying the puck over the back of the blue line, takes a chop from Richardson. Passes for Fisher, lets the puck go through to Weber. Other side, now Fisher with some room on the right wing. Goal line feet, leg one, back to Weber. Yossi at the left point. High slot, Fisher. Weber, slap shot, the longer the save, through the screen in front. Puck still loose, they're jamming away. Hornquist is stopped by the left pad of Luongo. Ten is down as Weber gets the puck. Luongo reaching for his goal stick. Predators send it in front and flex back to Yossi. Roman Yossi, other side, tipped away by Hamhuis, but leg one gets the puck. David Legwan, right wing hash marks, looking across, finds his man in the relay for Hornquist. He missed it in the crease, and now the puck's off Hanson and out. Well, that's amazing that Yossi didn't try and shoot that one. He tried to pass it across. Predators move right back in. Fisher dumps the puck behind the goal. Hanhuis puts it on the backhand, finds Kevin Bieksu, banks the puck to Ryan Kessler. And Vancouver able to relieve the pressure as Kessler moves in with Daniel Sedin. 40 seconds to go on the power play as Kessler dumps the puck around. Daniel holds it in and sends it back towards Ryan Kessler. He makes a move on Yossi. Kessler killing time as he goes behind the net. And still controlling the puck. Finally taken away by Craig Smith who carries out for Nashville. 20 seconds to go on the Burroughs penalty. Predators move in. Spalling on the right side. Dumps one to the high slot. Smith to the other side. Now the puck played back to Seth Jones. Ryan Ellis takes his pass. Jones again. 10 seconds to go on the power play. Here's Cullen looking in front. Drops it back to Jones with room. Slap shot. Score! Tipped in. Spalling in front, I think. And a power play goal puts the Predators up 2-1. Predators moved it around until they had a shooting lane, and Seth Jones is the guy in the high slot area, and Spalling's the guy in front of the net. Back and forth until they get a shooting lane. You see the Canucks trying to line this one up, and Seth Jones slides over Mike Fisher with a nice pass, and the lane just doesn't get taken up. Uh, tip in as Ryan Kessler thinks he's gotten the shooting lane, and it's Spalling that tips it back against the grain. No chance for Roberto Luongo on that one. So the Predators with two goals here in the third period to turn a 1-0 deficit into a 2-1 advantage. And the goal came with just three seconds left in the Burroughs penalty. Something that has plagued the Canucks not so much of late. But part of that is because they haven't had the lead in third period so much in the month of January. But they've frittered away some points, particularly on home ice, and in danger of doing it again here tonight with seven minutes to go. Here's Gabriel Bork moving in. Wrist shot, Luongo handles that one. And he hangs on for the whistle as we take another look at the go-ahead goal. Predators work the puck to the middle, and once that shot goes by Ryan Kessler, then it's fair game, and Spalling with a nice tip in, about 10 inches off the ice, gets it to go back the other way. No chance for Roberto Luongo. Predators, eight shots. Pardon me, make it nine now here in the third period. To six for Vancouver. Nashville benefiting from having a couple of power plays. Well, they're going to have to change up, particularly from the last game. And we have the advantage of wearing headphones with beautiful ice effects, and you can hear the deflection in front. But they're scoring at Jones from Cullen and Ellis at the moment as Fisher moves it. Sharp angle shot. 
Winds up on the stick of Yannick Hansen, who brings the puck out to center, slides into the Nashville zone, but this will be icing. And the faceoff comes back into the Vancouver zone. Dan. In this issue of Sportsnet Magazine, we give you the five things that need to happen for Canada to repeat as Olympic hockey champions. Subscribe today, sportsnet.ca slash magazine. Shea Weber is the, one of the assistant captains on the Canadian team. And on the ice right now, manning the right point as the puck comes to the stick of Chris Higgins and he plays it out to neutralize. Weber takes control, hit it in the middle. Spalling tried to get it to leg one. That was broken up. Canucks need to play at the other end of the ice. Six minutes to go in the third. Edler controlling behind his net. Throws a long one ahead for Daniel Sedin who tips the puck forward. Kessler's after it. Daniel and now Burroughs. Predators break that up and Smith gets the puck out. Yossi jumps onto it, carries in on the left end with a weak shot attempt that winds up behind the goal. Garrison taps the puck and skates onto it himself. Pass ahead for Kessler out of his reach. Another icing call and another faceoff in the Vancouver zone. Canucks have to get their feet going. There was a good example. Jason Garrison's rushing the puck and Ryan Kessler's waiting for him to do something without his feet going. So Garrison feeds in the pass, but because Kessler's not moving at the time, Goes by him and ends up being an icing call. Predators control off the draw. Ellis. Jumps one in behind the Vancouver goal. Garrison winds up with the puck. Daniel Sinead in on the left wing. Checked by Nystrom. Burrows after the puck. Works it free to Daniel. He throws one in front. Picked off by Gabriel Bork who quickly headmans the puck to Eric Nystrom. Nystrom chips it in. Skates on to himself. Turns, tries to center as he was checked by Bieksa. The puck comes right to Zach Delpy. Ahead to Zach Cassian. And he tips the puck forward and chases after the Nashville zone. Puck in skates. Delpy winds up with it. Pass back. Bieksa. Wrist one wide of the goal. Puck winds up behind the net. Lease is after. Leaves for Cassian. Wraparound attempt on the back end. Puck still loose. There's a penalty coming up to Nashville as Delpy was taken down by Nystrom. And Eric Nystrom will head to the penalty box. Canucks with a power play and a chance to tie when we return. Do you want to win an all-expenses-paid road trip of the Vancouver Canucks? Center Subway's Road Trip of a Lifetime contest, and you can win a trip for two to see the Canucks in Washington, Tampa Bay, and Florida. Visit roadtripofalifetime.nuxnation.com to enter. Now here's the Eric Nystrom on Zach Dolping takes him down and uh, they call it interference and you can see Nystrom's complaining. He didn't reach around. Looked like Dolpy's already on his way. Looked like he was on the way down. But the Canucks get a power put. They're 0 for 4. 2 for their last 30. And lose a face off and have to go back into their own zone to set up. Hamu starts out. Pass to Kessler. In over the Nashville line. Chance to shoot, he does. A stick save by Hutton. And swatting that puck on the bounce was Gostad down the ice. That's a problem with the shot like that from Ryan Kessler. The other guys don't have time to get to the net for the rebound. BX up to Burroughs. Drops to Daniel Sabine. Other side, Hanhus. Down for Kevin BX up. Saucers to Daniel, up bounced over his stick and out to center with a minute 12 to go on the power play. Bieksa had that one bounced the wrong way, but he finds Hanhuis as he recovers. And offside was Burroughs as Hanhuis brought the puck over the Nashville blue line. We can spark Alex Burroughs a little bit. Of course, hasn't scored this season. 53 shots coming into this game. This is his last regular season goal came April 15th last year against the Predators. Mojo? <laughs> well, you can hope, Murph, but uh, that just shows you the luck involved. And you see Spalling's goal tonight where 10 inches, you get your stick on it, goes in. And the Canucks are going to call a timeout and give their A power play group time to rest. All right, we'll take our time to check out the game summary. It's brought to you by The Brick. Nobody beats The Brick for furniture, mattresses, appliances, and big screen TVs.
Chris Higgins got the Canucks off to the right start in the second period with a nice tip-in goal. Michael Delzato's been pretty good. Shea Weber's been the story again. He's played more than anybody else for Nashville. He's been out there every time Ryan Kessler's been out there. He's been real good, and I'm really impressed with Craig Smith. Shorty, you talked about the number of goals he's got already, and he just snapped that one over Roberto Luongo's shoulder. Three forty-seven to go in the third period. Canucks have just over a minute of power play time remaining to face off outside the line. And the puck comes to Burroughs, who quickly tries to shoot it around. He does get it by Hutton, and Daniel Sedin's onto the puck behind the net for Burroughs. Tried to help it along for Garrison. Gostan intercepts, can't clear past Ryan Kessler. Kessler settles the puck, passes down to Garrison. Into the corner for Burroughs. Try to go to the other side, that hit the goal. But the Canucks keep possession of the puck. Burroughs trying to sweep it back to Bieksa, but it went over the glass off a Nashville stick. So the faceoff will stay in the Predators zone, although they're still talking about it. I think Chris Rooney might have a different opinion. Linesman said faceoff to the left yes. of Hutton. And now, now they're, they're gonna bring gonna it, out. it out. Alex Burroughs, I think it hits Daniel Sedin. And that's what the linesman thought too. So that ruling hurts the Canucks with 43 seconds to go on the power play. The X against the puck and drives in. Hutton aggressively played that one. Might have put a dent in the inboards, <laughs> cutting off that ring around. Kessler lines up with the puck. Takes it back to Garrison. Right point, Bieksa. Here's Daniel Sedin. Puts one in front, tipped by Kessler. A nice left pass saved by Carter Hutton. Daniel Sedin holds the puck in. Try to get it back to Garrison. Does on the second attempt. Garrison near side, Bieksa. Ten seconds to go on the power foot. Bieksa looking in front. Passes to the goal line. Burroughs from behind that. Back to Garrison. Uh, Bieksa now to Garrison. Other side, Daniel Sedin. Penalty comes to an end. Daniel hoping for another tip. Puck went right through the slot. Here's Bieksa in front. Shot didn't get through. Predators clear. And now Hornquist chasing in on Garrison. Who tries to tie up the Nashville for him. And winds up freeing up the puck for Kevin Bieksa. So the Canucks are 0 for 5 on the power foot. But here's Higgins coming in. Well, Higgins shoots. Picked down and right down taken by Jones. Chris Higgins looking for his second of the game. And that would have been a huge one. But just over two minutes to go. Tanev, deep in his own zone. Chris Tanev, perfect pass to Dan Hamhus. He's in over the Nashville line with a drop pass to Cassie. Puts it on the backhand. Now on the forehand, he missed the net. And the angle of that shot's going to see the puck carry him all the way down into Vancouver territory. Tanev pressured by Nystrom. Gets a return pass from Hamhus and has to take the puck from behind the net. Minute 45 remaining. And an icing call up coming, which will bring the face off into the Vancouver well, zone. And Chris Higgins is saying, okay, Shea Weber pinched on that one. Now uh, here's Higgins in behind the defense, takes the pass perfectly, but Carter Hunt realizes Higgins has one option, and that's a shot. Nice pass by Kevin Bieksa. Face off got so Hutton charges him. And it doesn't give Higgins anything to shoot at. We talked about, I think it was the Everly chance the other night for the Oilers. Yes. I think Barry Trotz like that. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. 90 seconds to go. Luongo looking to the bench as Kessler gets to center. Passes to Cassian. There goes Luongo. Here's Higgins. He shoots. A blocker saved by Hutton. Empty net for the Canucks. Smalling gets the puck out. Daniel Sedin onto the ice. Works it to Bieksa. Who shoots the puck in behind the Nashville goal. Hutton cuts it off for Weber. And he goes glassing out. Minute 10 remaining. Daniel Sedin flips the puck in. Now hustles in on Yoshi. Tried to shoot the puck around. That was blocked by Burroughs. Predators get it ahead the second time. Tipped out. Here's Spalling. Getting chase on the end zone. Tied up his stick. And the Predators don't get a shot at the empty net. There are now 45 seconds to go. As the Canucks, who had a 1-0 lead, Coming into this third period, try to get a goal to tie the game at two. 
Hartley tying up the puck behind the goal. It's sent to the near side. Edler hustles down from the blue line. Passing gloves the puck. Edler next to touch it. It hit a predator in the back, I think. That's why play continues. Richardson fighting for it. Daniel Sedin gets the puck. In front, Cassie was checked just as he went to shoot. Here's Edler. 15 seconds left. Back to Bieksa. Kevin Bieksa to Alex Edler. He shoots. Picked up on the left pad of Hutton. 10 seconds to go. Edler again towards the front. Loose puck. Comes to Edler. Across. Daniel fan on the one-timer. Burrows to Daniel Sedin. Couple seconds left. And they're going to run out of time as the Predators score twice in the third and get the win. Some frustration at the end. Alex Burrows in the middle of it. Uh, it is frustrating for the Canucks. They just can't get that goal. They get the first goal and couldn't get the second one to put it away against a team that is also struggling to score. Smith tied it. Jones credited with the winning goal and the Canucks trying at the end. But Block shot by Yossi. Another block shot. The Canucks just couldn't get it through. And then Daniel fanned on the one-timer. There's Nick Spalling, who we thought scored the game-winning goal. It's been credited to Seth Jones. We'll see if they change it. It sure looked like Spalling ticked, and Carter Hutton wound up stopping 33 shots for the Nashville win. Well, and give the Predators credit. They just keep it close, keep it close, keep it close, and then force the issue in the third period. So the Canucks two-game winning streak, a modest one, comes to an end. They lose the opener of the four-game homestand. 2-1 Nashville, the final at Rogers Arena. Canucks Hockey on Sportsnet. Brought to you by Subway Restaurants. Enter for your chance to win the Subway Road Trip of a Lifetime at roadtripofalifetime.nuxnation.com.